How's it going, internet? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Cloudways with WordPress. Here is everything we're gonna be covering in today's video. Feel free to pause and read if you'd like to. Otherwise, I got the timestamps in the description down below. Be sure to check that out. Let's hop straight into the tutorial. So before you even purchase your Cloudways server, you need to make sure you have a domain. If you already bought your domain name, then you can skip this. This does not pertain to you. If you haven't bought your domain, then I recommend getting it from porkbun.com. And the reason for that is they actually have the cheapest domain prices. I'm guessing 99% of you guys are either gonna be getting a .com .org or .net domain. And as you can see, GoDaddy, they charge way too much for domains and they don't even offer a free SSL. GoDaddy is absolute garbage, would not recommend them. Okay, Namecheap used to be very good, but in recent years, they've been increasing the pricing of their domains. So I try to stay away from them now. Google domains is actually pretty decent. So if for whatever reason you don't wanna go with Porkbun, then I would recommend Google domains as an alternative. Other than that, if you have no issues with Porkbun, then I would highly recommend them. As you can see, we can get a .com domain for $9.73 sense a year. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So let's buy our domain right now. Link is in the description. We're going to buy hostingadmiraltut.com. So after searching it, you can see we can get it for $9.73 a year. Let's click the plus button and then check out. I'm registering for one year. We're not going to add an email or web hosting. Okay. We're just going to click continue in the bottom right hand corner. Next, you're going to need to make an account. Okay. Once you're done filling out your information, just click the checkbox to acknowledge the terms and conditions. And I'm going to click, no, I do not want any awesome deals and create account. Okay. Just look over everything. Thing, make sure everything is looking good and then continue to billing. I'm going to pay with PayPal. Okay, everything went through and we just got hostingadmiraltut.com. We're going to leave this open because um, now we are going to purchase our Cloudway server. So again, link to this is in the description. We're going to click start free here. You're going to need to make a Cloudways account, of course. So fill out your information. Once you get down to this promo code section, use the promo code YouTube, and this will give you a nice discount. So after you're done signing up for your Cloudways account, they're probably going to send you a confirmation email. So make sure you click that to confirm that your account is legitimate. But once you've done that, you're going to want to log into your Cloudways account, and then you're going to end up on a page similar to this. If you don't see this, you're going to want to come to the top corner here and click servers. And we're going to click launch now to create our first server. Our application is gonna be WordPress. Right now it's version 6.11, but this is probably gonna be a higher version number for you since you'll be watching this in the future. So give your application a name. I'm just gonna do tutorial and the server is gonna be WordPress. Okay, so we're gonna go with DigitalOcean and you see the server size here, we're gonna crank it all the way to the left. And the reason for this is this is gonna give us the most affordable web hosting server, okay? Uh, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the monthly cost is $11 a month. If I choose any other server like Vulture and bring it down all the way, okay, $16 a month, Linode, $14 a month, AWS, $38 a month, Google Cloud, $37 a month. So with DigitalOcean and a one gigabyte server, this is gonna give you the most cost-effective web hosting server. They do recommend two gigabytes or higher for production websites. So if you plan to host a larger website like an e-commerce site or you're expecting a lot of traffic to your website, then you should go up to the two gigabyte server. Otherwise, I know most of you guys are just building small websites so you can get away with just running the one gigabyte server. And plus, keep in mind that you can change this too. If you find that your website is moving slow or not up to your standards, you can always come back and increase the server size. Okay, next server location. Choose the location that is close to you. For me, it is New York. And then we're going to click launch now. Okay, our server is being set up. It'll be ready in about seven minutes. Okay, so I finished setting up. And as you can see here, we have our WordPress digital ocean server. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how Cloudways works so you understand how to navigate through this. As you can see in the top right-hand corner here, we are on the servers page. We can see our WordPress server here. If I click into this, this is giving me information on our server. Now, if I wanna access the application, which is WordPress, I'll need to go to applications here. If I click into this, this gives us all the details to access our WordPress installation. So just understand that there's a difference between accessing your server information, which is under servers versus your actual WordPress credentials, which is found under applications and WordPress. Now that you guys understand the difference between the two, let's continue on setting up our website. Next, we want to actually get our domain working with our server, because if we actually go to hostingadmiraltut.com, as you can see, there's nothing, there's nothing that shows up. Okay, the way that we do that is we need to first add in our domain to Cloudways. You're going to go to applications, you're going to click your WordPress install, and then you're going to go to domain management in the sidebar. Click add domain, and then you're going to type in your domain. So for me, that'd be hostingadmiraltut.com, add domain. Then I'm going to click these three dots right here. It's really small. Make primary. Set as primary. So you'll have to wait a little bit. This might take a while for you. All right, so it finished adding it as our primary domain. Unfortunately, if I type this into the address bar, it's still 
not showing us WordPress. It's giving us the pork bun uh, landing page. And the reason for that is we need to actually tell pork bun what our server IP is. For this next part, if you didn't buy your domain with porkbun.com, this process is going to be a little bit different, but not difficult. Essentially, you're going to need to log into the website where you originally purchased your domain and find where you can edit your domain's DNS records. So you might need to do a little Google search if you can't find it. But once you do, you can follow along with everything that I'm about to do. We're just adding in an A record and a C name record. Next, we're going to go back to pork bun. You're going to go to your account dashboard. If this is not what it looks like for you, just click account in the top hand corner, go to domain management, and then you're going to end up here. So what we're going to look for is we, we want to go to details and you see this here where it says DNS record. We're going to click edit. Okay. Once this pops up, you're going to see that there's two records here. We're going to delete both of these because we do not need them. So let's do that. Next, you're going to add in an A record, click here for that host. We're going to type in an at side for the answer. We're going to come back to our application credentials and we're going to copy our public IP. Now guys, this is going to be completely different for you. So please do not type in this because it's not going to work. Copy your own public IP and then paste it into the answer and then click add. Next, we're going to add in a C name record. Their host is going to be www. The answer is going to be your website. So I'm just going to copy my website here without the period and then paste that there and then click add. So now we have an A record, which points to our domain name and we have a C name record, which means that if someone puts in www, it's automatically going to redirect to our root domain. And then let's exit out of that. Now we just wait again. It's gonna take some time for our DNS record to propagate and update across the internet. Shouldn't take too long, maybe at most an hour, but I'll let you guys know how long it takes for it to actually start taking effect. Okay, and it worked. Okay, that took about honestly five minutes for me, but it might take a little bit longer for you guys. As you can see, we have our WordPress blog here, although it does look like booty, but I'll show you guys how to fix that. So one thing I want to show you guys is if we actually go to our domain, you can see it says your connection is not private. And in the top here, it says not secure. So if people come to your website and they see this, they're gonna be sketched out by it. And the way that you fix this is by installing an SSL certificate. Luckily, Cloudways provides free SSL certificates, unlike GoDaddy. But uh, to install that with Cloudways, you're gonna go to your applications, click your WordPress instance, and then on the sidebar here, you're gonna click SSL certificate. And you're gonna click Let's Encrypt. This is a free SSL. Type in your email here, your domain name, and then just click install certificate. Okay, we got our SSL installed and it is set to auto renew, which is good. So let's go back to our website and try refreshing it. It's still saying not secure, but if we open up a new window and we go to our website, it is actually working. So try it in different browsers. I'm gonna open up a different browser window and try going. Yep, and it's working perfectly fine. If you run into issues, guys, try doing a hard refresh on your computer too, which is control shift R. Otherwise, just give it some time and it should eventually work. Okay, now that WordPress is installed and we have our SSL certificate installed so our website is secure, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually log into your WordPress so you can install a theme and start making changes to your site. Okay, so we're back at Cloudways and remember to access your WordPress credentials, you just need to go to applications, click your WordPress installation, and then everything is here under your access details. To actually access our WordPress admin panel, just go to your website and type slash WP dash admin. Okay, so that works. Otherwise, you can also come here and then just click this URL, which will open up your um, your WordPress backend. So from here, you just need to copy and paste the information that is provided to you in your access details. So username, I'm going to paste that there. Uh, password, copy that, paste it here. I'm going to click remember me and then log in. And boom, here's your WordPress dashboard. You can now start building your website. So the first thing you might want to do is install a theme of some sort, because right now the website is looking like absolute booty. So I'm going to go to appearance and themes. So here you can search for themes. You can pay for themes online. Uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll activate this one, the 2022. We'll click activate here and then it is activated. View site. And then boom. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's video. That's how you install WordPress on Cloudways. I hope everything went smoothly for you. But if it didn't, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Peace out.